Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. I was having a conversation with Mike Shellman over on my centripetal force video about faking gravity. It got me thinking though, how much like gravity is it? Is there any way you can tell you're in a spaceship? Or does it just seem like a giant hamster wheel? <laughs> a window, who has the budget for that? So we've all seen it before. Interstellar, Mission to Mars, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Part or all of a spaceship spins, which causes what seems like gravity inside. It is not actually gravity. Here's what's really happening. Let's say you're an astronaut floating around in the spaceship. When it begins to spin, you don't feel much of anything. As the spin gets up to full speed, you feel a slight breeze slowly pushing you toward the outer edge. Eventually, you come into contact with that edge and suddenly everything changes. After tumbling a little, you notice the edge is pushing on you just like a floor does on the Earth. Your body responds pushing back on the floor and it feels a lot like gravity. But, but it's not. It's a centrifugal force. Wait, wait, wait. Haven't you said before the centrifugal force doesn't exist? Well, sure, there are outward forces. They just don't act on you. The one in this spaceship acts on the floor, not on you. But that's the one you actually feel, so it feels like it's acting on you. Just stop thinking for a moment and feel. Feel your own weight. Where do you feel it? If you're standing, it's in your feet. If you're sitting, it's in your butt. If you're lying down, it's mostly in your back. It's underneath you, but that's not actually your weight. Weight acts at your center of gravity, which is kind of in the middle of you, not underneath you. No, what you feel is your bottom parts pushing down. You don't actually feel the outside world. You only feel how your body responds to it, which frankly is true of any feeling you have. Perception is weird. Okay, fine, fine, but I'm definitely on the ground right now. Are you sure? Wait, should, should I not be? We're, We're on, on a spaceship! spaceship. Where else did you think a mad scientist would live, honestly? No, seriously, I can even stabilize the camera. See? Actually, we're spinning a little fast. No wonder I've been feeling so heavy all day. Thought I just ate too much for breakfast. Speaking of spinning too fast, if we're gonna build a spinning spaceship, let's do it right. We saw in this video that the size of the circle matters. If the circle is too small, then you're gonna feel significantly heavier at your feet than you will at your head. A spinning spaceship this small isn't gonna work. A working one is going to have to be big, like really big. The tallest person on the earth is a little over eight feet tall. That's about two and a half meters. For the weight difference to be less than 1%, the spinning circle has to be about 503 meters across or 1,650 feet. It's about five football fields or three and a half Giza pyramids or 110 Volkswagen Jettas or 733 tube socks. This also keeps the ship from spinning too fast, a little under two revolutions per minute to be specific. Otherwise, it'd feel like a carnival ride thanks to the Coriolis effect. We're talking dizziness, nausea, and disorientation. Not fun in a place you're supposed to be living. Okay, so assuming we built it well, how do we tell we're on a spaceship? Experiments. We might be spinning slowly, but the Coriolis effect is still there a little bit. It only affects moving things though, so we gotta make some stuff move. Jump. Well, that looked and felt pretty normal. I wonder what it looked like from the outside. Weird. That didn't really help either. Hmm. Maybe we weren't moving fast enough. Run. As you run, our good friend Coriolis will make you feel heavier. The faster you run, the heavier you'll feel. Okay, so that's going sideways. I wonder what happens when something goes up. Helium balloon. Weird, it stopped in the middle. It must be weightless up there. Climb a ladder. As you climb, the fake gravity slowly gets weaker until you get to the center of the circle where it's gone completely. Yeah, that's probably the best way to check. Just climb a ladder. So if you got to go to space, would you want to have gravity or would that just defeat the purpose? Start a conversation in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.